Oroantral fistula. It is a communication between the antrum and oral cavity. The fistulous opening may be situated on the alveolus. Or gingivolabial sulcus. Etiology. 1. Dental extraction is the most important cause. Roots. Of second premolar and upper molars first and sometimes second and third, are closely related to the antral cavity and their extraction may lead to fistula formation. Presence of apical tooth abscess predisposes to it. 2. Failure of sublabial incision to heal after Caldwell Luke. Operation. 3. Erosion of antrum by carcinoma. 4. Fractures or penetrating injuries of maxilla. 5. Osteitis of maxilla, syphilis or malignant granuloma. Clinical features. 1. Regurgitation of food. Food or fluids pass from oral cavity into the antrum and thence into the nose. 2. Discharge. Antrum is always infected. Foul-smelling discharge is seen, filling the nose or exuding from the fistulous opening into the mouth. 3. Inability to build positive or negative pressure in the mouth. Patient will have difficulty to blow the wind instruments or drink through a straw. To drink through a straw, negative pressure has to be created in the oral cavity. This cannot be done in the presence of an oroantral fistula as air gets drawn from nose to antrum to oral cavity. Reverse is true when blowing wind instruments. Instead of building a positive pressure in the oral cavity, air is blown out from the oral cavity to antrum and out through the nose. Diagnosis. A probe can be passed from the fistulous opening in the oral cavity into the antrum. Treatment. Recent fistula. When fistula is discovered immediately. After tooth extraction and there is no infection or a retained tooth in the antrum, conservative treatment with suturing of gum margins and a course of antibiotics is effective. Chronic fistula or a large fistula. It requires surgical repair by a palatal or a buccal flap. Maxillary sinusitis is first treated by repeated irrigations and antibiotics. Squamous lined fistulous tract is excised. Bony edges of the fistula are smoothened and prepared for the flaps to sit properly. Caldwell Luke operation may be required to remove a retained tooth root or a foreign body, clear the antrum of diseased mucosa and to provide a nasoantral window for free drainage. Some fistulas are better closed by a dental obturator. The latter also permits observation of antral cavity particularly in those treated for cancer.